Hi everyone, now we are going to discuss about stability of carbon ion influenced by different factors. The last part we did, uh, we cut off that is here in this third example. So here NO2 group, CHO group is there and here fluorine is there. So according to resonance effect, it is releasing group, it releases electrons. So that's why charge in, uh, is intensifies more over the carbon ion. So that's why it is uh, highly unstable. But of these two groups, electron uh, with, withdrawing groups are there. So withdraws electrons, the charge dispersal is take place over here. So that's why it is easily stabilized. But the power of these two groups is NO2 group is more power. So that's why uh, it makes the uh, compound is more stable. Next to CHO group, next to fluorine, right? Yeah. Next now, the second factor we will do now, that is uh, electron releasing groups, which releases electrons. Okay. So for example, the compound is like this. So here, 1, 2, 3, here negative, uh, negative charge is there and it is a R1, it is a R2 and here some uh, Z group is there. So Z group is what electron releasing group like uh, alkyl groups or alkyl groups like uh, you know methyl group, uh, ethyl group uh, etc. These are all, we did uh, examples, they will get it okay. And then uh, alkoxy groups, uh, alkoxy groups like uh, there is alkyl oxen, alkyl oxen, alkoxy right. So alkyl alkoxyl groups that is a, a methoxy group and a ethoxy group okay ethyloxin ethoxy group right etc. If these groups are present uh, these are responsible for electron releasing groups generally according to inductive effect alkoxy, alkoxy groups are withdrawing groups according to resonance effect or mesomeric they are releasing groups okay. So now if these groups are present what happened so if take alkyl groups are there they releases electrons if they releases electron to the uh, carbon ion then already over the carbon negative charge is there it is already unstable again these groups releases electrons means so more and more electrons accumulate over the uh, carbon atom so then a negative charge uh, intensifies more intensifies means increases if negative charge increases then the carbon feel burden okay so it is feel pain because already i am having uh, electrons negative charge is there again you are releasing electrons to me so more and more electrons accumulate over me so i am feeling burden like it is paining so it is paining means it is that is uh, you have to understand it is more going to unstable right that means electron releasing groups are there by releasing electrons so what about right that is uh, by releasing electrons by releasing electrons right uh, it uh, intensifies the negative charge over the carbon. The releases intensify means increases, right? So intensify negative charge on carbon atom. Because of that, the carbon ion is going to unstable more and more. Okay, that is the decreases stability of carbon ion. The decreases stability of carbon ion. Is it clear? Right? Yeah. Regarding this, this is the concept I gave. Then by applying this concept, you can do different examples. Simple concept, more examples. Right? Yeah. One example you do first now. So, regarding this concept, take it here. <coughs> yeah. So, here. Uh, methyl groups are there, 3 methyl groups, the carbon ion carrying 3 methyl groups and the second one the carbon ion carrying 2 methyl groups, <coughs> yeah, then the third one is the carbon ion carrying uh, 1 methyl group, the fourth one is the carbon ion only hydrogen atoms are there, no methyl groups, right. Now tell me now the name of this one, it is a methyl carbon ion. It is CH3, CH2 minus ethyl carbon ion. It is uh, CH, CH3 taken twice minus carbon. That is uh, uh, isopropyl or secondary propyl carbon ion. And this is uh, uh, C, CH3 taken thrice minus. That is a uh, tertiary butyl carbon ion. Right? Okay. So this is uh, methyl, methyl carbon ion. This is uh, ethyl carbon ion. It is a primary and it is also iso, uh, it is super primary. And here, this is isopropyl carbon ion. So isopropyl carbon ion, isopropyl carbon ion. It is a, a secondary carbon ion. Next, this is a tertiary butyl carbon ion. It is a tertiary carbon ion. Right. Okay. Now among this, uh, which is uh, more stable. Right. So in this case, 
this role of methyl groups this are all alkyl groups right methyl groups are uh, electron releasing groups that is uh, you can say this these groups are that is uh, plus i groups or plus m groups or plus r groups okay right so that's why here alkyl groups are plus i groups how many are there here three groups are there so the number of groups are more in number they are all releasing electrons already they are all releasing electrons already the carbon is negative charge there again they are releasing electrons uh, they are okay so they feel burden so that makes the carbon more unstable but so here the first one methyl carbonyl there is no such one uh, hydrogens are neutral they are neither releasing groups nor withdrawing groups so that's why so it is going to more stable but here one alkyl group is there it is releasing electrons going to more unstable and uh, it is two alkyl groups are there it is makes the carbonyl going to more unstable three are there highly unstable so that's why you will get it that is uh, the stability of uh, carbonyl uh, having or uh, carrying carrying uh, electron releasing groups that is a uh, plus i groups then what conclusion will get the stability of uh, carbonyl is inversely proportional to uh, electron releasing groups or plus i groups right so that is the stability of the stability of okay the stability of carbonyl is inversely proportional to uh, plus i groups okay or electron releasing groups electron releasing groups are more in number more in number then the carbonyl is going to less stable going to more unstable right got it yeah so that's why here more electron releasing groups are there tertiary okay so that's why so three groups are there three groups are there plus i groups okay so and here this is a plus i groups how many are there two groups are there okay and uh, okay and uh, here uh, in this uh, ethyl only one group is there one group is there and here methyl no groups no groups are there there is no plus i groups okay so that's why uh, releasing groups are not there highly stable next uh, it is methyl is more stable next ethyl next isopropyl next tertiary butyl that means uh, methyl next primary uh, carbonyl next secondary carbonyl next tertiary carbonyl then the trick what you have to uh, keep in your mind is that is uh, uh, what is that first one is 1 2 3 1 2 3 means primary secondary tertiary right so primary is more stable next secondary next tertiary is highly unstable right before that what is there methyl carbonyl is there right okay next one more. Uh, another example copy it first we'll do one more example here only yeah with the uh, effect of resonance we'll do for example the compound is uh, this is example 2 Yeah, so in this case it is a CH2 and it is a minus here CH2 minus right now so it is carrying CH2 minus and here <coughs> hydrogen is there and here methyl group is there okay and here methoxy group is okay you take, take it here it is a, a methyl methoxy group and uh, yeah here methoxy group here methyl group take it okay now so in this case yeah so which is more stable here if you apply here this is ch2 minus it is this groups are there here methyl groups are there here methoxy group is there right yeah so these are there one two third carbon third carbon means there is resonance effect is not take place there is inductive effect is take place here hydrogen hydrogen is neutral it is neither releasing nor withdrawing okay but here this is methyl group this is a, a plus i group and this is also plus i group right negative effect okay so because of at meta position at meta position groups are present groups present at meta position okay at meta position groups are present groups are present okay so their their resonance effect did not take place no resonance effect 
नो रेजिडेंस इफेक्ट दर्शवाई हियर नेक्टिव इफेक्ट इज टेक प्लेस नेक्टिव इफेक्ट इज टेक प्लेस ओके या नेक्ट इफेक्ट इज टेक प्लेस सो दर्शवाई प्लस आई ग्रुप्स मीन्स दे रिलीजिंग ग्रुप्स सो दे रिलीजिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हियर दे रिलीजिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इट रिलीजेस मोर एंड मोर रिलीजेस मीन्स सो द पावर ऑफ दिस टू ग्रुप्स मेथॉक्सिक ग्रुप इज एंड मेथाइल ग्रुप ओके सो मेथॉक्सिक ग्रुप इज मोर पावर मोर रिलीजिंग मीन्स more highly unstable and this is power is somewhat less so that's why it is stable and this is nothing uh, releasing groups are there it is highly stable so that's why this group next this next this is it clear right copy it next one another factor will do no percentage of ascorbyl character okay up to here is it clear right percentage of ascorbyl character the third factor is percentage of s orbital character percentage of s orbital character yeah with one example you get the concept you know uh, in the sr that is sp3 hybridization sp2 and sp right so uh, in case of these three hybrid orbitals okay are available in the carbon atoms okay so sp3 percentage of s orbital character in sp3 means how much that is s orbital is 25 in sp2 33.3 percentage and uh, in case of uh, sp 50 percent is there as percentage of s orbital character increases okay s orbital character s character increases then electronegativity of carbon also increases if electron density of carbon increases electron withdrawing group it is behave as electron withdrawing nature right is it clear this concept you have to keep in your mind this concept you have to keep in your mind kim there is keep in your mind yeah right yeah now so this is the concept then you can answer it different examples first one regarding this concept one example one two three carbons you take three carbons yeah this negative charge here triple bond is there here negative charge here double bond is there here negative charge here single bond is there yeah that's it so this is uh, up uh, here two hydrogens here two and here three ch3 ch2 ch2 minus it is a, a propyl carbanion and this one here uh, one two uh, two hydrogens are there here one hydrogen is there here uh, one two three uh, two hydrogens are there and here one hydrogen and here two hydrogens right so this is propyl car uh, carbanion this is uh, propenyl uh, double bond is there right this uh, uh, alkenes uh, alkenyl propenyl carbo carbanion this is uh, alkynes uh, that is propenyl carbanion propenyl okay that is this is also called that is uh, propenyl okay so propyl propenyl propenyl so this is what propyl propyl carbanion second one this is propenyl propenyl carbanion in in that is it is a alkyl 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 alkenyl then it is a propenyl propenyl carbanion in that is that is this part i okay it is in and this is uh, i propyl okay so now here in this case this carbon it is adjacent carbon this is is the right okay so this carbon this carbon is all so this is uh, undergoes sp3 hybridization and here this is undergoes sp2 and here this undergoes sp this carbon is sp carbon right okay so now here what you have to understand is my dear uh, all okay you just uh, look here in this case there is no resonance because there is no conjugation okay and the percentage of s orbital character is very less so percentage of s orbital character is less okay and here because of sp3 and here so this is a double bond single bond negative charge so that's why conjugation is there you know wherever in the entire organic chemistry wherever conjugation is there 
there which effect is operated my dear all there is resonance here resonance is take place right resonance is take place okay that to sp2 carbon okay double bonded carbon right carbon carbon double bond okay so that's why sp2 carbon is electronegative carbon okay so there is a, a little electron activity is there okay some le less electronegativity uh, is there so that's why here also what you will get which effect is operated according to this we can get it there is uh, uh, less electronegativity is there means withdrawing effect is take place okay so withdrawing effect is take place okay so that's why so it is migrated over here it is migrated over here right okay there is negative negative effect also happening there is less okay less uh, negative effect, effect there is effect is there but less negative minus i group okay and here so this is uh, here what happened here this is uh, sp carbon right sp carbon is more electronegative carbon na? right here also pi bond sigma bond or negative charge is there so this is migrated over here it is then migrated over here okay so here also resonance is take place right and also minus i this is more electronegative right you know triple bonded carbon triple bond okay triple bonded carbon is more electronegative more electronegative means more electronegative means then uh, extent of withdrawing nature minus minus i group is more power to withdraw okay so that is uh, minus effect is uh, more best okay that is uh, that is a uh, greater minus i group is greater okay so greater withdrawing effect is there so that's why greater withdrawing effect is there means so more power that is withdrawing electrons so that's why it is easily stabilized the charge dispersal over here so that's why it is uh, more stable propenyl carbonyl next uh, uh, first propenyl carbonyl is more stable next propenyl next to propyl is it clear right yeah here you have to apply percentage of a circle character if you move from here to here okay what happened the percentage of a circle character decreases that means what conclusion you will get that is the stability of uh, carbonyl is uh, so percentage of sulfur character is uh, more then stability is also more so that's why directly proportional right that means the stability of the stability of carbonyl is directly proportional to percentage of s orbital character okay and uh, we'll do one more example we'll get the concept here so one time this is they will give like this that is for kvpy exam and also uh, for je exam okay so what will get it that is they give like this two carbons uh, two carbons they from here this negative charge here triple bond is there here negative charge double bond is there here negative charge single bond is there right as you know this is uh, it is alkene it is alkene it is alkyne so this is uh, uh, ethyl ethyl carbonion it is uh, ethenyl ethenyl carbonion okay it is ethenyl okay vinyl carbon it is uh, allyl and uh, this is ethyl ethyl carbonion right so which is more stable means no doubt here this is sp carbon it is sp2 okay yeah and this is sp3 right so that's why what happened here if you move from here to here s orbital character percentage of s orbital character decreases from here to here okay so s orbital character decreases means okay uh, then going to be more unstable. So, percentage of a surplus character is more. You can say like this also, right? If you, from here to here, percentage of a surplus character increases. So, a surplus character increases, stability is also increases. That's it. That you have to keep in mind. What is the trick you have to keep in your mind? The trick is the stability of the stability of carbonion is uh, directly proportional to percentage of S orbital character. It is directly proportional to percentage of s circle character this have to keep in our mind kim is it clear right okay ma so yeah i think you uh, enjoyed this video uh, if you understand properly so from this concept if any examples are given you can it is very easy to solve okay ma so thanks for watching my video okay like it subscribe it and share to your friends fine